And welcome back, welcome back. Before the break, we were being serenaded by Serone. Who joins us right now? What do you do, bro? What's up, what's up? How you doing, how you doing, how you doing? I'm good, I'm good. Nice to have me. Big up. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. I, I, You know, right before we went to commercial, we played, we were watching 24-7. We were listening to 24-7. Yeah. And I was like, 24-7, what is she doing 24-7? Uh, well, yeah, the, the clean version is, hey, is yummy, yummy, 24-7. Yeah? Yeah, and then the dirty one is boom, boom, 24-7. Oh, I feel like yeah. it's both the same thing. I feel yeah. like it is both giving the same amount of... Yeah. You know what She's I mean? She's in love, I mean, like... Oh. I'm, yeah. Oh, so both of you are in love. Aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. exactly. Right, yeah. 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 Now, um, let's start off with... Um, at When you dropped sugar back yeah. in the day, yeah. Call Me Daddy wasn't even a thing. Yeah. It wasn't. Yeah. Now, now it's today, a mm. it's a thing. And I remember then I was like, call me daddy. Eh? Why? Why? Why are we calling you that, Serene? And then now, <laughs> years later, I'm just like, now it's become yeah. proper slang. So now we know where it came from. Yeah. Now I get but it was a freestyle, though. So in the it studio. was a freestyle? Yeah, it was a freestyle. The I, recording session? The yeah, the recording session was a freestyle. I just went to the studio. I was like, yo, the first thing that came in my mind was that they call me sugar. They call me daddy. And then I did a freestyle. Came back again, it sounded dope. You didn't... Oh, you were like on some Jay-Z tip. Wait, what? Yeah. So you didn't yeah. write anything? You were just vibing and then... Yeah, yeah. That's how I do my music now. It's like a uh, white canvas. So I usually just go to the studio, create the right energy, mm -hmm. and then I just trust the process. So sometimes I step back and I'm like, oh, so that's what that song is about. So, mm. yeah, interesting. And it became one of the biggest songs of your career, well, so far. Yeah. So, so far. that's one the one the song that everybody's still like can identify me with so, yeah yeah do you get tired of performing it a while ago i did but then <laughs> sometimes i meet different people and they're yeah. different levels in my career so that some are stuck in that song then i'm like you know what thank you for still being my fan but i'm still working on new music and yeah. so they catch up and then they're like oh so it's triple feeling exciting and yeah yeah. yeah. Well, there's been a lot of new music because yeah. you dropped your debut album last finally. year. Finally. Finally. What did it take you so long? I mean, think like it was just that God's timing. Okay. Because I was always like almost making it, but then I had to go through my own journey. So I, the reason why the album is called I'm a Star was just basically me telling myself, yo, you're a superstar. You're a star. So anybody that's listening to the album, it's like an affirmation to yourself. So mm. I'm a star. So yeah. So you're, you're telling yourself. I like that. It's like you're talking to yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Did that come from imposter syndrome? Kind of. Okay. Sometimes when you're really good, it's mm -hmm. a gift and a curse. Sometimes yeah. people see something in you that you don't see it in yourself. So you try to wonder like, oh, am I the one who's the problem? But it's just like you're a threat in a way. So I kind of now have a way of having the right people around me to fuel that energy. And that's the energy that I'm using in my new music. Yeah. And the people around you are at Universal. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. How did that come about? Do you oh. get an email? Do they call you? Do they drop you a text? They're like, it's hey, the we universe. want to change your life. It's Give me a call. <laughs> like, uh, uh, it's a... <laughs> it's basically like just the right time, right place. So they they were looking for an artist, and they're like, we're looking for a mature artist, someone who's been in the game long enough, someone who understands the business side. And then they're like, you know what, you could really mm. be that guy. And I was like, you know what, I'm ready now. Uh, I'm I'm more stable. I'm more ready. I'm more motivated. And I think I've paid the price. I've been in the studio for more than ten thousand hours. So. I think it was just God's timing. Yeah. yeah. I saw Lil Wayne talking about how, I, 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 think, I don't even know if, it, if it's something that all musicians do, yeah. but it's almost like you live in the studio. Like you're in the studio yeah. more than anywhere else. Yeah. You spend more time. Is it? So it's the same for yeah, you? It's, it's, it's basically this cliche question, like what's your favorite part of the process? Is it when you're recording? Is it when you're performing? Is it like when you're doing the media? For me, it's in the studio because it's like, creation mm -hmm. and that's how an artist like kanye can say he's a god because in that world you're creating like sounds and combining different things and creating something and that excitement is what you know sometimes it's really crazy but you still have to do the whole circuit release the music get the reaction from the fan market it you know mm. then it becomes a business so yeah, yeah but the studio is the one place that i feel comfortable yeah and i think it's because you're creating magic remember this is something yeah. no one's ever had before and you're the one coming up with it yeah right it's, it's such an exciting feeling yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. from yeah. nothing to then something and then you see how the fans react to it and you're like what dope, dope, dope. like these were just beats i was making like that's a spoon you hear that sound that sound is actually a spoon <laughs> yeah artistic freedom that's what i believe in like, yeah having your mind in a state where you could just you know be like empty and then just 
at that moment is where the magic the magic happens. Mm, and you just yeah. disappear in it and you get Bam. lost in it. And people don't even know how long it's been. You could be there for like five, six hours. Yeah. You think you've been there for like an hour. Yeah. You, know, you look at the time, you're like, where, 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 where? I need to go home. We now. need to go. Like 24-7 yeah. happened at uh, around 3 a.m. We just did a session. Guys uh, blacked out in the studio. So we're just talking about like R&B dance hall would have really worked if... There was a beat that kind of did that. So the producer was like, there's this beat mm. that I sh you should hear. And then he played it when we were just leaving. So I was like, you know what? Let me just jump on that, that rhythm real quick. And it came out really crazy. So we sang it all the way till morning. And I was like, you know what? The energy that I felt that day, I'm going to go with that energy. And yeah. 24 7. And in fact, I think you described it as if Afrobeats, dancehall, and RB had a baby, what yeah. would it sound like? How would it like? sound? Yeah. Yeah. It would sound like 24-7. It would sound like 24-7. Now, there's nobody on the album as well. Yeah, nobody's on I'm a Star. Um, yeah. Pick up the phone. Wiggle is also on the album. Yeah. So, it's, the album is basically, I call it Swahili vibes and R&B and dancehall. Because I feel like Swahili is just like dancehall music. Like, we're the same people, mm. just in different continents. But the spirit is the same because there's no tribe like Swahili. It's just different people. It's a lifestyle, so... That's what I believe in. It's very mm. distinct, and I feel like it, it would represent Kenya and also be, you know, international. Yes, yeah. it would be. Yeah. Wiggle. It is. <laughs> You're calling the African girls. Yeah. You're calling the jo London, the London and the girl, Caribbean. The Caribbean girl. Yes, yeah. as well. Trying to cross over to that market, man. Please Which take one? me there. The, the world Caribbean. market, man. I feel like oh, we... Oh, the world market. Yeah, like I feel like we Kenyans are ready, man. Like, I'm putting myself out there, man. Like, I'm campaigning, man. Like, I, I think we deserve to, like, have a Kenyan artist same level with everybody else and I'm here to nominate myself just to yeah. say like I think it's time like I think it's time it is time yeah. in fact it's a question that I think I've commonly asked on this show yeah where do you think the disconnect comes from is it the fans who just appreciate international yeah. when I say international I mean music yeah. from any other country other than Kenya is yeah. it that they appreciate music from outside more than they do Kenyan music is it that the yeah. musicians are not Connecting, like I'm not sure <laughs> where the disconnect is coming because I see the yeah. numbers, I see the streaming numbers yeah. of Kwanzaa Afro beats, where we were with Nigerian and Tanzanian artists, it's and I'm crazy. like, so all these numbers are coming from Kenya, meaning we You'll do have surprised, the numbers. Yeah. We just need the wave. It's like the wind, right? We yeah. just need to get the wind moving in this direction. And mm. it's happening. I know so many people do say that same thing. But guys are now coming up. Guys are performing. The shows are pinning around Nairobi every week where only Kenyan artists are playing. So I feel like it's only a matter of time until, you know, we only work together because that's the problem, man. Our industry is like wrestling, but everybody thinks they have been Smith man. So mm. we just need to work together mm -hmm. and show that and know who has the joker. I feel yeah. like we're playing poker against everyone else and everybody's hiding their cards. So we just basically need to know, you know what? You've got the song right yeah, now. Yeah, we are on. We're yeah, on so you team. play that song yeah. so that I can play this song later. Yes. So we don't kind of mess up the whole game so that we win the game because that's what they're doing that's what south africans are doing yep. nigerians are doing they all know each other's songs they all know who's gonna drop the biggest song so they kind of work in a line to that so that's just my two cents about yeah. that yeah it's not true you said that i saw um i think rema was performing i don't know was it which country was it anyway and and yeah. he invite oh, it was and he invited david o and you see a lot of that you see yeah. a lot of that like you know just join my set opening f yeah. you know open for me or just come in the middle and you see them you know so let's say like this year you'll see whiskey at some concert next year yeah. you'll see two or three nigerian artists at the same concert. very true very true all right so, so they're see working the together comes. yes they're yeah. working together yeah i would really love to see more numbers man it just we have so much talent and i just such as yourself and Thank i you. just i need to make sure that you know you guys are are getting all the love and appreciation that you deserve because there's a lot of effort and time that goes into the music exactly and yeah. i also love what you're doing supporting you know everybody plays their part we're gonna win because let the artists be artists you know let the artists be the artists uh let the djs be the djs like play the music just let the fans decide man like let's stop making it so pre-arranged mm. Let's have that element of surprise because they'll be like, damn, I didn't, so I didn't know this guy was going to be the biggest. But we are planning it. We're like, oh, this is the biggest artist. Yeah. But we just need to let it just have an organic life. And then somehow the magic is going to happen. Like I've seen it in the studio and I've seen it on stage. And I believe that it's going to happen. It's, it's happening. Yeah. We're here. I mean, like.
We here. We here. Hapa ni wapi mwalimu wa Max? Yeah. Hapa ni wapi? We here. Yeah. We here. <laughs> so you so you you've got a podcast coming up? Yeah, I'm such a creative man. I'm such an overthinker. So I have this show called Food is a Musical Taste. Mm-hmm. So we we hang out with musicians making food and uh, you know just food is a musical taste. We have an eating competition. Interesting enough, we're making a cocktail named after the all of the album. So we just did Wiggle cocktail. So you can make a cocktail at home and you're going to jump to the song. Then we're going to make 24-7. And we're turning that into a podcast. Just to like talk about some of the things that you're talking about. The music. What can we do together? Just trying to you know, light that fire up. You know, Get yeah. the right people coming on. And have a good time over a nice meal and cocktails. Yeah. So food with a musical taste. That's what I'm also working on. Conversation yeah. over food. Oh, my type of meeting. <laughs> my type of interview, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming through, Sarah. Thank you for having me. What do you want the fans to know? Uh, well, yo, do your part as well. We've been in the studio, we've done the interview. Now you go listen to the music. If you're on TikTok, just jam to the songs, do the challenge. I mean, like, just, just go out the same way you go out to all these other artists. And once we get there, I trust how can you talk as well. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. Uh, I'm all over Serene. You can catch me anywhere on Spotify, like 24-7 out right now. Big up. Yeah, <laughs> thank you so much, Serene. Thank you, thank if you. I, I forgot to ask you, but I've noticed you have polish. Yeah, man. Oh, why Why are you rocking the polish? Is it, is it fashion? Is it, is it for... I'm trying to cross over to like a different uh, sphere as an artist. I want to be like a visual artist. Like I feel like my why should my nails be so boring, like... I don't Should conform to yeah like if you can like i feel like chicks are cheating like like your handbags like makeup like they really make your life so way better so i'm like you know what i'm gonna take care of myself as well like rock this mm-hmm. do some piercing crazy outfits like yeah yeah, yeah. okay also yeah. are you generally like that or is it something you've just started um i'm just way of water okay i just woke up one day i was like you know what i was <laughs> fixing my hair i'm like would you do my nails as well they were like, uh, okay. Wait, yeah. the big bag I saw you cutting is yours. That's mine, yeah. That's y- <laughs> your Shondo. That's my Shondo, man. Oh, it's called Shondo. Yeah. I thought it's called Shondo. <laughs> All these years of my life. Okay, yeah. fine. So it's Chondo. a Shondo. Yeah, it's like uh, it's something that I'm working on. As it's well. practical, isn't it? You get to you don't lose all anything. Things. You carry all types of things in your yeah. bag. Your car keys, yeah. your phone, your charger, and, yeah. and if you're busy. You just move carry around, your stuff yeah. big yeah. up to new africa the ones who are making it so i'm yeah. kind of rocking it right now i like it yeah. visual artist okay yeah. well it's so good to see you again thank Irene, you after such a long time yes. um osoro is on the other side osoro tell me what's going on on x I mean, what's, uh, what's your x say what's your x say i mean uh, mbiamono, mbiamono kabisa pale kwenye ma x. we have a lot of feedback and of course one question there's a there's a feedback kutoka kwa pamela Pamela Kadeny uh, has a has a question and by I think it has been answered uh, but because nilikuwa nimeitayarisha nimeyekelea juu ya senior she's asking mbona amepaka makucha zake though no. musicians go too far i'm like <laughs> where are they supposed to where are, where is it supposed to end you know when they're asking <laughs> at it, they go too far i'm like <laughs> But that's the, 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 the work of being an artist you know and uh, mimi nimependa kama hizo makucha i'm like yeah yeah, at a mimi, I'm, I'm inspired. You know, I'm like, uh, easy zangu Because kwanza. they are boring. Yeah. They're plain. No, no. Think F- about it. Yeah. Zangu wa ziezi? Zako. Z- like, how I do you want them? Nipake ama nisipake? Upake, osoro. Can I do them for you? No. I have the color that would work with you. Do you have the skill? Yeah. Because I, I, I trust of Samantha I Kuliko. Like, I think she can do a good job. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, Amina Pale kwenye mtandao. And of course, a lot of guys saying, eh, this, this guy, Jamzake ni motomoto, we have to go. And like he said, like, go subscribe. Siku skiza, tuma kusema, eh, hey, kali, kali, kali. No, that's what Kenyans are known for. Like, hey, hey, kali, kali. I love to know that tumepeleka traffic yote TZ. Not a bad thing, lakini sasa, yo traffic tukieka huku. I think uh, it it's a idea sana you know like uh, utaona Serone ame, ameka event e pale ndio DJ DJ analipwa Osoro ndio MC Amina ndio bouncer sisi wote tunalipwa you know that's how we grow the industry Pia mono kabisa mimi ndio bouncer Amina you can't bounce I can Like uwezi tu kazi ya watu kuingia na eza Oh, I, kukazia, I just I don't know if they take me to the <laughs> 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 I 